Buzz, I mean, uh, look at Cipla go, 6%. That stock is soaring, I think, on a very, very strong US sales number. 250 million is how much they've done. That is uh, way above the poll that uh, Ekta was telling us about. In fact, she's here with us. Ekta, what a move on Cipla. Excellent uh, set of numbers uh, from coming in from Cipla. You know, the revenue is a single-digit growth of around 6 odd percent year on year. But what this street is looking at squarely is basically the margin performance, which has come in at, I think, uh, around 25%. And uh, that compares to around 21% last quarter. And the key driver would be the U.S. sales this time around as well. So the U.S. sales have come in at $250 million versus, uh, two, uh, you know, versus around $220 million that they did in the previous quarter. So $250 million, the street wasn't anticipating such a uh, figure to come through so quickly for Cipla. Now, what we need to see is that how much of it is probably attributed by one-off opportunities such as Revlimid Generic and what the base sales for the company would have looked like. Remember, they guided towards margins of around 25%. Obang Vora did guide for margins of around 20%, uh, 25% last quarter and they've delivered and that's the reason why the stock is higher because uh, they did manage to do that despite having regulatory concerns around their Goa facility and uh, you know the uh, uh, stronger than expected US sales is the key driver so margins US sales is really what the street is reacting to at this point in time thank you very much uh, for that let's move